So this is how you use battery in multi-channel mode. When you open battery in Logic, you can choose how many outputs you need and whether you want them to be mono, stereo, or a mix of both. I'll go with eight stereo and eight mono outputs. Load the cells with the samples you need. By the way, if you activate this button, you can switch between the cells using your MIDI keyboard. This way, you can assign the cells to keys and keep a better overview. I'm going to assign the hi-hats to the same voice group so the open hi-hat gets cut off by the closed hi-hat. Now, right-click to route each cell to its own output. For the hi-hats, I'm using the same output, but you can route them separately if you like. Then open the Logic Mixer and click on the plus sign as many times as needed to create all the channels. I need three channels, kick, snare, and hats. That's it. Not too hard, right? Now let's see how to set it up in Cubase. Routing in Cubase is actually a bit easier. The number of outputs is selected after opening battery. Just like in Logic, load the cells with your chosen samples. Then right-click on each cell to route it to an output. Like before, I'm placing the open and closed hi-hats into the same voice group. Now open the Return channel for Multi-Out Instrument window on the left of Battery in the Inspector menu. There, activate the outputs you need depending on the number of channels. That's it. If this video was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and have fun making music. See you in the next video.